already saw a bunch of people, saw a bunch of you guys already jump back in, so that's good. This is part two of our live tonight. Let me check the camera here. Let me see. What it is. It's not gonna. It's not gonna show me. There's a little people. There's a little button that tells me there. Wow, there we go. All the people here. Where's all the peoples? Okay, look. There's all the peoples. Yay. Okay, look. There's very good. <laughs> okay. No, don't end the live. Come on. Quit it. All right. Here we go. Let's see, let me get rid of this thing. Show you some more rocks. Yay, rocks, so we already did four hours tonight. <clears throat> this is part two. Part two of the throwing stones extravaganza. Let's see, we started with recap. This is, uh, let's get this out here. We were back to these uh, garden corpses with shit inside. All kinds of crazy stuff going on. These are from Zambia. Chlorides and hematite and clay minerals and phantoming and shit. They call it lodolite in, in Brazil. Lodolite just means shit in quartz. That one there is eighty dollars there for a nice big piece. That's the biggest piece for those of you just joining us. That's the biggest one we've got tonight. <clears throat> Welcome to all of you who were here before. Thank you for coming back. It's very good to see you. Now we have some new regulars here too. And Caitlin is here. All of the West Coast people can enjoy the Throwing Stones shit show. I mean the rock show. We can have a very good rock show for you. So it is uh, good. This one here is uh, $76 for this is uh, Garden Quartz. Yes. Chelsea, they are some of my favorites. They're awesome shit. You should see the one I have in my collection. Oh my God, I got one in Tucson a few years ago. That's just fucking ridiculous. Oh, uh, you haven't heard the Throwing Stones shit show before. Yes, I, I realize it's probably not a good thing to call it, but you know, sometimes it gets debaucherous in here. And it's usually not my fault, but I instigate too. So it's perfectly all right, you know. Hey, what are you doing? Caitlin, very good to see you. Thank you for being here. Hope you can enjoy. Show it sometime. You know, I need to show my a lot of my collection just to fucking have a night to do that. But it's like, it's always my fault. What are you talking about? Nothing's my fault. I'm just here for the rocks. The rocks tell me what to say and do and all that shit. You guys are the one that instigate everything. All I do is just because I show a phallic rock doesn't mean we got to go down fucking to the red light district right away. You know, you guys are the ones that do that. I don't do anything like that. I know what you're talking about. Look at this one. Look, it's got all this shit in there. Look, it's got even like it's had to, it's had to know the mineral. Look at the shape. There's like a shape going on. Maybe it's a phantom or something. Anyways, I don't know. That one's sixty nine dollars. Sixty nine dollars. Look, we are talking dirty in there. It's sixty nine. It is very rare for me to price that one like this because it, it, they don't use it. Yay! Very good for school. The collection, damn it, the only problem, there's two problems. You said G-string rock. What do you mean? Earlier. Oh, yes, the G. I didn't say that. What do you mean? You said, of course I did. Damn it, Rusty, it's all your fault. Now, see, I'm the instigator. You you guys are the ones that run with it. Look, you can see right through that, like, remember that portal? Look, it's like got that shit going on in there. Look, it's beautiful. Red and yellows and greens. That's a That's a really good one. It's good. This light like really makes it good. Yes, <laughs> yes, a G-string rock. <laughs> okay, you make me laugh here. My own jokes here. Look, fifty-five dollars for that one. Fuck it, I'm gonna keep that one. That one's great. You can't have it. No, I'm just kidding. Whatever. It's fifty-four, fifty-two, twenty-four, something like that. I'm losing my voice. I'm talking too much. You talk too much, but you'll never shut up. This one we'll do for f f f f f $40. This we make a market down from 52 it's Now it's $40. It's a nice green one with some white shit going in there. Yes, it's cosmic. It's cosmic. It's cosmic or cosmic. Or cosmic. It's or cosmic. Yes, cosmic or. That's very good. It's cosmic or, yes. And it's or cosmic. Very good. Okay, this is finished. 52. This uh, We are showing the same one. Why are we doing the show the same one? Let's get the new one out. For you, everybody already see this one. For you, new, for the new people, it's not. So do you want to see more like this or do you want to see other stuff? Because there are many things to show you. This is not only this. This one is pretty cool. Look. New ones. Okay, fine. New ones. <clears throat> yes, we're going to continue on where we were before. 
And we're going to show you the rest of these. Look at this. This light is making it very easy for showing. You can just light it all up. Yes, I know, new ones of these, that's what we're doing. We're going on with new ones of these that you haven't seen yet. That one there is, oh, come on, hands, damn it, 44, 52, 52, 49. Well, don't talk, just push the number quickly, because I know somebody else who will push the number quickly. No, oh, there are 44. He said, there's not too many of them, it's just quartzy like that. <clears throat> Most of them have a bunch of shit in there. Oh, here, yeah, there's another one like that. Let's see. There's a few more like that. This one is like a grey and a bluish grey and the stuff in there and what you call it. The bottom is the course. You can uh, you can see like that. Oh, what is this? Oh, that's pretty cool. There's a lot of shit going on in there. I'm moving really slow. How, man, Nicole's gone, so everything's going to be slow from this point forward. $29 there, $52.43. This one's awesome. Look at all that shit in there. Whoa. It's like beautiful and red and green and white. Yay. And yellow. Look, there's all the colors. Yay. I got to back up to show you that. 52, 31, 68 dollars, that one. Uh, let's see this one. Ali, I see you, 52.31. Yes, on a mini light base, it'd be really good. Okay, Doc, this one is 52.35 for 44. And you contemplate that while I write this down for Alice, since I'm by myself, Nicole gets me. Righty, one second, almost done. Oh, it's so much faster when there's someone standing here. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Tell me more about these, please, since I had a call. These, okay, so these are garden quartz crystals. Garden quartz uh, was just one of the names given to it. Lodolite is another name, which isn't really a mineral. It just means shit in Brazil, and they're like the shit inside that nobody knows what it is. Uh, it's chlorite and hematite and phantoms and stuff. I don't know. There's probably a lot of different minerals, but they're probably all in the same family, so to speak. Um, all right. Yep. So that's what I got on that. They are. These are from Zambia. They're not Brazilian. Typically, garden quartz comes from Brazil. These are pretty different from that and we're gonna keep going so i've mentioned it you just asked where they're from zambia from cent south central africa man this one's got a lot of quartz like you were saying you like okay here we go where's the light oh look at the green phantom lines there they're only you can only see those on that one plane look at that those three lines that's really cool Fingerprint. Okay, I give you a fingerprint here. You can see it. You see it? <laughs> you... That's a, oh, another one, fingerprint. <clears throat> I gave you mine, and nature gave you hers too. Look at that. <clears throat> yes, they are pretty awesome. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. That one there is thirty-three dollars forty fifty-two forty. No, turn it. What do you mean? I turned it all the way around. Turning, turning, turning. Fifty-two forty. Fermenter, fermenter. <clears throat> Never mind, just give it to me. <clears throat> Look a duck. Yes, the very large quartz. We'll do those after maybe a couple more of these. We'll move on. Chelsea, have you gotten your fix? You guys gotten your fix on these? There's like, there's like eight more. I could intersperse. I could go to the big, the big Smokies and come back to these because they're easy to, easy to get to. Anyways, this one also really cool. That one is thirty-two dollars. This one. Okay, 32 that one. Divine Miss M, got you on that. There's, yeah, I wish you hadn't missed all the other ones too that are still there because they're all really good. You'd probably want a bunch more of those. So I'm, I could just recap or show some, show some more of those, but uh, let me get this. 52, 41, All right, Big Smokies. Lots of yarrow, that one is very good. <laughs> okay, so uh, you can overlook these. Garden quartz, it looks like a fish. Was it one of the ones that I showed? And I, I don't think I said anything about fish tonight, did I? I don't know. If it's an old piece, then no. All the garden quartz has been sold. Okay, duck, so this, I have big, big quartzes from a uh, new find from Nigeria. This is a nice uh, tapered crystal, kind of like a Lemurian, sort of. That one is marked 200 for a nice big smoky. Could probably do like maybe 160 for that one tonight. Nice and clear. Very good. This is the only one of them that's not a singer. Pretty sure this one isn't. Yeah, that one's not a singer. So that's 160. The rest of these, this one I'm gonna, I'm gonna stay firm on the price on this one. This is a nice long one. It is a left-handed crystal. It's got this awesome place for the thumb right here. And it's got a little stuff going on the top. They don't really treat these crystals that great, but when I found out they were singing crystals, I was like, it doesn't matter. Chelsea, you got it. <clears throat> so, all the rest of them are singers. That's a great piece. That's the least expensive piece. All right, next. You got the first one. This one. So 
also a really nice wand and it's also a singer This is also from Nigeria. <clears throat> and I got 222 on that one. You can take 200. It's got a nice kick, little spot right there for your left thumb. So it's also a left handed crystal. Yeah. 200 on that one, 52.63. Then we got this guy here. Also, a little bit of a singer. And this one is Mark 360. Going to take 300. It's got this interesting little thing going on the side there. Uh, the singers, <coughs> excuse me, are really about length, length and width. Like the reason this one doesn't sing as much is because it's thicker. Uh, I actually have like a three foot long quartz that's tabular that sings just because the, I, I, I don't know if it's the width to length ratio or if it's just uh, so this one's bigger this one also has a nice rainbow in the middle there is that one 396 doubly terminated Yep, it's all about length and width. Ah, oh God, here we go, devolving right into the right into the trap. <coughs> this one, I'm on, I can do three thirty three. Three thirty three. Yes, you had to. Of course, you did. All the crystal shows bombard all the way down to the bottom here, especially when we got big phallic dongs. <laughs> Here's the last one. This is a monster. Look, it's got these weird things going on at the top. Whatever, I don't even know what that is. But it's cool, is what it is. It's like a big burst of something. It's only on that a little bit there. Yes, it's a big rock. They are amazing and they were inexpensive. I got really good deals on them and I'm passing it on. Like I had a friend that saw these and she was like, are those the prices? That's stupidly cheap. And I was like, yeah, it's fine. They're good. Hopefully I can get some more. But the ones that most of the ones that they found were much bigger than these. And I was just like, I don't know. If you guys want much bigger ones, I'll bring a couple. Uh, these are from Nigeria. <coughs> I can get a couple really big ones if you're interested in really big ones, but I didn't want to commit to them. But if you let me know, I'll show you a few, like, giant ones. Like, this one's not even big. They get, like, three and four and five times, like, three times the size of this. Not length, all of it, but they get huge. Like, freaking huge. Here, let me show you the one I kept. This one's not for sale, but you can get another one this size. But you've got to be ready to spend. They're not, they're not crazy money for what they are, but you, like this big is totally possible. This one, usually some of them are double terminated, like really big pieces. That's like 15 inches or more. They probably get up to like 18 inches. And listen. Price for this size, oh shit, where did that come from? This one here. Price for this size uh, is probably about, depending on how thick it is, they'll run like 800 to 1200. 
which honestly I think they could easily be double that, especially in a retail store. And I will, you know, they're most of them do have some damage because they didn't handle them very well. Um, so you know, if they get, if we get like completely clean ones, they're going to be a little bit more. But we'll see how that goes. Makes you seem so small. Yes, I know it's crazy. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, I am not keystoning the numbers that I'm telling you. Those are keystone, so you can double the price that I just mentioned you. And I'm not keystoning prices tonight. <coughs> <coughs> all right so what do we want to do next do we want to see the rest of these fill up the page i could do five more and then we're done all right let's do it quick quick ready set go oh fuck that's a good one chelsea look we got another one that you got to have damn it that's a good rock AJ, Emily, you haven't, there's no Ahoa you haven't seen. Doesn't mean I can't show it, but there's nothing new. <laughs> well, I could probably find something new, but there's nothing immediately in front of me that's new. Okay, look, you've seen it. That's a fucking good rock. Damn it, that might be one of the best ones. $50, this one. $52.42. <clears throat> yes the reason is that i don't have you know it's like i've got all these rocks that are, that are that are priced and they're skewed and they're at my feet and they're literally like i could pick it up in two seconds and show you but those are the ones you've already seen. Everything else, like, there's a piece here and a piece there that I could pull out of a drawer, but it's not priced, and I have to look, and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, it's not impossible, but there's always something hanging around that you haven't seen. Buy wallet, Jack, we're closed. <coughs> I did not see your claim. It didn't come through. I'm assuming you wanted 5242. Anyways, this one's awesome. Also, Chelsea, just just confirm um, confirm fifty two forty two because I'm assuming that's the one you wanted. But I did not actually see your claim come through, which is pretty dumb. Dumb Instagram. Chelsea, please do confirm that piece. Because I didn't get your claim, but I, I put it aside for you because I'm sure somebody confirm if they saw it. <clears throat> All right, that one's done. Okay, I got you. Craptastic. Hey, I like that word. My internet is craptastic. I got it. No, I saw it. All right, I see it three. I got it. Everybody help me there. That's great. Okay, we're done. Unless you want to see a few more. What do I got? One, two, three, four. We got four more. Room for four more. You guys, now that she's done, you guys want to see more. <laughs> Here, let me show you the best one now. <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding, Chelsea. Just kidding. Now that she's gone. No, just kidding. I wouldn't do that. I don't. If the rocks do what they do in the timing that they do, I wouldn't do that to somebody. <laughs> Okay, look. <clears throat> no, I wouldn't do that to you, don't worry. They all go in whatever order they go in. You've seen all the good ones. Okay, that one is $60 there. 50, wait. Yes, $52.32. <clears throat> Yes, 5232, that's another very good one. What properties do they have? Well, it's quartz, so it's amplified with everything, and it's got chlorite in it, so you can look up what chlorite will do. Uh, there's pinks and reds. It's grounding with the red. 
the green is, I don't know. It does all kinds of shit because it's shit to light. <clears throat> Thank you, Chelsea. Have a good night. All right. All right. Okay, here's the next one. It's another pretty good one. 62. Nice big wide one. Wide at the base. Here's another one. This one. It's the one that's just quartz. Emily, look, it's just quartz. Mostly quartz with just shit in there. That's pretty neat. That one is 48. Okay, look. Last but not least, last one. Yes, sabotage. <clears throat> that one's forty-two dollars. So forty, fifty-two, forty-three. Fifty-two, forty-three is this one. Tabatoge. Why are they cut on angle in the back? Oh, you mean like on the base like that? Uh, it's just usually how they grow, you know, like there was probably just a host rock or whatever and it just, you know, it's not like they did it on purpose. They just polished it to complete polishing it, but it doesn't always have that section there. Tabatoge, I got you 42, whatever now, 43. <clears throat> all right, one second, I'm by myself, so I got to do it all. <clears throat> All right, that's it. No more of those. Let's move on. Unless you need to see one of the other ones that you didn't see. They're all really good. Fifty two, fifty two, forty eight. Yes, <clears throat> this is fifty two, forty eight. What's next? What's next? <clears throat> Not a problem. Um, so 
so we can do a once over here. Let's see. Uh, could just do a general overview if we wanted. Those crystals, uh, those over there, those are from Zambia. The green tea messed you up a bit. What do you mean? How did it mess me up? It helped me out, it kept me awake. It kept me awake. So we got our oh, white like this. Let's see, you should probably pull it back here. No, all this good stuff. That one's marked a thousand. Tonight we can take eight hundred. Eight hundred, yay! Somebody was asking for smaller Aha White. Don't know if they're still here. Here's a cluster. We can do the cluster for two hundred. Mark down from three hundred. A-J-O-I-T-E, Ahoite, like Ajoite. It's named after the Aho, Aho, Arizona is the type locality. Type locality means where it was first found. It wasn't found, it was found, it found in Arizona, but not in terminated crystals. And it's only found in South Africa in terminated crystals. Yes, there you go. Spelled by Shirley. This one is polished ready to be capped put into a pendant or whatever that one is marked 250 you can take 220 <clears throat> and this one it has uh, other minerals on top the uh, acolyte underneath this is nice doubly terminated crystal complete on both sides Look at this ahoite spray going on in there. There's a nice little spray in there. You can see the light reflecting back out of it. This nice blue going on in there. If it wasn't such a perfect crystal, I would possibly polish it so you can see the ahoite, but it's just perfect. So I can't do it. It's not one of the, it's not the prime candidate for that, but it's a beautiful piece nonetheless. 750 is the price on that one but we will take tonight we can do i don't know 600 probably is all right it's that one uh, we've got a few little ones like this Little partial phantom going on in a little jewelry point like that. That one's marked 100, we'll take 75. 3194. Nice little cabochon in sterling silver. About yay big. That was Mark 244. You take 200. <clears throat> 3194. That's it. All right. I got you, Divine <clears throat> All right, thank you for that. Hey, Moss, Clean on the 200 pendant. That's great. Thank you very much for that. I'm going to write that down. 
Good deal on that one. Thank you, KJ. Beautiful piece. Awesome. All right, that's good. What's next? Super. All right, let's keep going. What's that? Let's do... This one's really cool. It's got the crazy spray. Look at this spray. All the center is Ahawai. All the white is Ahawai. There's native copper. There's some more native copper over here. There's a little bit of rainbowing going on. It's a bigger piece. <clears throat> And this one is 400. <laughs> good deed. Yes, it's good dead at, at one o'clock. <laughs> You're good and dead already. It's very bad. No, they go to bed now. Okay, tonight this one we're going to do 300. This is a killer. Awesome piece. And let's see, we've got... This nice, beautiful piece here with lots of color, full polish, stands up really good. That is 1500. But tonight we will make you a deal. We can do this one for, let's see, maybe 1111. That we can do for 1111. <coughs> <clears throat> Okey doke. Here's a cabochon, just a little bit of white, but it's an affordable one. You can see the little spray on the top there. All that, that's all, all our way, like a little fingerprint. This one is 60 bucks. 16.74, we'll make it 50. 50 bucks. There is a polished Ahoyt in my future. Yes, I believe it. I agree. Uh, here's another polished ahoite, which is crazy. Look at how many things are going on in here. I don't know if you've seen this one before. It's just ridiculous. It's got a hole in the middle. Crystal shape. Too many minerals to name. I can't even name them all. There's too many. It's too late for that. But it's got a bunch of shit in it. Look at this. Oh, yes. All right. Well, you probably saw... I don't know if you saw it on my Instagram. You weren't on Instagram for a minute there, Emily. So I'll show you something you haven't seen. But it's crazy. It's crazy expensive. But I'll show it because everybody probably wants to see it. This one we can do 600. That's pretty much what I got in it. Pretty close. Let's see. Hold on a second. Let me get you something crazy. Magna, good, good time to join. Here you can get a close-up view of the crazy Ahoy that has graced my presence recently. So the cool thing about this rock is that you couldn't see any of the blue except for this little part right here. This whole thing we had to polish. This whole thing... I didn't even see it. It was covered with not, you couldn't even see a quartz crystal face. I barely even knew that this was terminated because this was like a quarter inch of cr like this much crust. 
I couldn't see any of that. It was just the bottom. It was double terminated. And this is all specular hematite. This is all naturally growing, forming crystals. So we opened it. And to our surprise, <laughs> we got this. Right, waiting for Moldavite. Moldavite, <clears throat> the Moldavite's really easy because I can just put it in front of the camera and they're all like right there so you can just buy them right out. <laughs> yeah, it's no big deal. Just a fucking unbelievable, crazy, insane piece that I should probably keep. I should probably keep it. I have a good one though. But this one's really good. The one I have is not polished. See this, this is like crazy bow tie. It's like a little angel. These are angel wing, angel wing ahoite. This is from the angel wing pocket. But you couldn't see any of it. It was fucking covered in complete encrust. Yeah, so that's a good rock. That's a keeper. I'll probably, you know, it's available for sale for the right price, but. I don't know. The more I stare at it, the more I should keep it. But I can't keep them all. That's the problem. It's like, that's the, that's the biggest issue. That's the reason why we got into this business in the first place. Because we have to be able to afford what we want to keep. And it's like this never-ending challenge to buy enough to be able to keep what we can afford. <clears throat> no, this is expensive. <laughs> It's not five figures. But it's a hell of a rock. <laughs> Humorous. Humorous? No, no, that's this is my ulna on this side. And radius, not humorous. <laughs> <clears throat> no, I'm putting it away here. We're going to put it away now. There you go. Yes, it's definitely high four figures. Humble us. I mean, it should probably be like 7,500. I mean, it's worth that. It's definitely worth that. I sold one kind of similar for it for 10K a couple of years ago. It was a little bit different. Anyways, there's the rock. You're going to dream about it. Alright, 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 so what are we going to show you next here? Let me put the... Can you pass on to people I know who can afford it? All right, uh, we'll talk about it. We'll talk about it. I have to decide if I really need to keep it or not. Okay, quickly on the Moldavite. This is super easy. I don't know if this is tangible understanding. So this side is damaged. And it's 35 for this one, and 58 for this one, and 45 for that one, and 20 for that one. And this side, oops, it's undamaged. This one's 80, 62, 70, 56. Uh, this one was had a little bit of damage, not a lot. That one's 55, this one is 80. The reason is because it's got this like Santa sled going on here. It's like sledding here. It's Santa sledding across the sky like this. And this one must have been 50. All right, so that's the Moldavite. Time for Moldavite again. Oh no, I don't know if I want to go all the way into it. But that's there. That's like, we don't, I don't know if I need to add anything because these are all killer deals. These are 50% off prices already. Not 50% off of these because these are the... They would be double this, so we just go down to these prices, and that's really fair retail is what we get. <clears throat> Five, fifty-six, that one. 
Gimp grills, I got you on that, confirm, yes. Oh, here, let me show you, I should probably show you. Here. Yes, show it, Rusty, damn it. All right. <clears throat> Kim underscore grows. All right. Anybody else? Yes. Can you see two under the light? <clears throat> yes. Number two. Uh, I will show you the hieroglyphics one in a second. This is number two, for this is Fallen, Fallon. So that one is 80. Uh, the hieroglyphics one was which one? Did that one sell? I don't see that one. Wait, 55. Uh, the hieroglyphics one must have sold because I don't see that. Yeah, I think that one's gone. Lower right ish, this one? No, I don't think that was it. And it wasn't this one. Anyways, there's some Moldavite. Don't know if I'm going to go too much deeper into that. <clears throat> uh, Emily, here's another Aho White you haven't seen. So this is an old piece from the 1980s from the original Messina mine. Uh, this is all self-healed growth with a little bit of hematite going on over it. And this is epidote, a little bit of ahoite, some tenorite, and ahoite, hematite. A little bit of self-healing going on there. And I don't have a sticker for this one, but this one needs to be uh, probably 700 on that one. Seven hundred. <laughs> all right let's see what's next so glad you took some screenshots i don't know where the hieroglyphics one went uh, let's see we still could do some more ah, all right I'll go back to that for a second if you guys want to see some more of those <coughs> Uh, what's next or left? I could do a little bit more Ahoite. Um, what else is there? There's some elephant carvings out of lapis and a couple of boxes that are kind of cool, jewelry boxes. Um, I got a whole flat of pendants that I could show. Petersite, Super 7, Hematite, Phantoms, Rhodochrosite, Richterite, Covalite. 
with that kind of stuff. Uh, if you wanted to see more Moldavite, I could take out more Moldavite if you were, like, super excited about it and thought you were going to go crazy with it. When Moldavite goes crazy, then go crazy. This is great. Yeehaw, here's some other stuff. There's some Ganeshes. There's some really nice pyrite in quartz, like some fucking killer pyrite in quartz. Seriously, these are fucked up good. Like, sorry, excuse my French. But look at this. This is crazy rock. Very nice pyrite and water clear quartz. It's, I'm gonna make super jewelry. Back to this thing. This thing is just one of the best pendants that I have right now. It's like super sprays going on in there. And little calcite crystals. It's a good size. Beautiful, beautiful piece. And that one is marked 888. Uh, we'll take 700 on that one. Superb. <clears throat> so yeah, that's kind of what I got on the table. Here's some more. Here's some more included quartz. Look at this thing. This is crazy. Yeah, I hear you. I don't know how much later I need to stay up. That was almost another hour. Uh, that one's marked 500. This is this is a crazy thing. Giant rutile coming out of this. This is crazy. Amazing piece. Take like 400 on that guy. Here's a Brazilian opal. <clears throat> I gotta take it out to see the color. Mexican fire opal pendant. This is pretty cool. Yes, Aaron Fiola. That was a rutile. This is just ridiculous, this thing here. Look at this. It's a stellar, stellar thing. Like, what a rutio. Good size, too. So, 400 on that one. Here's another really nice rutio. This one's marked 500. We can do 400 on this one, too. But, water clear, pretty fantastic. Got some iron stuff going on in there, little plates. Anyways, good stuff. <clears throat> no, it's rutile, it's not tourmaline. Check out this lo load of light piece. This is pretty sweet. Just gracefully in little phantoms with a nice dome so that it accentuates it. Like, this is killer. I love this stuff. Just amazing. That one's marked 333, but we can take like 260 on that one. Amber spheres, sort of round, not perfectly round, done by hand. Nice big ones, good color. Uh, that one's 100. Take 80 bucks. And this one, Allie, I see you. I don't see what number, 28.95, that one. That's a good score. Let me put my phone down. Thank you, Allie. I gotta write this down. All right, that was a great claim. Thank you so much, Alice. Let's see, what else can I show you? Uh, yeah, this is this flat's just got great stuff. Here's another Mexican fire opal. This is just like top, top amazing shit. This is made in gold. 235, we'll take 200. Super nice hand-selected pendant. <clears throat> Got this pretty ridiculous star root heel. 
This one makes that other one that sold seem pretty inexpensive. That other one was killer. This one's marked 400. Can take like 290 on that one. The red pendant, this is Mexican Fire Opal. Two hundred on that one, and I don't know why this one's cheaper. This one's better and bigger. I mean, they might have gotten flipped. Oh, the other one was in gold. That's why this just has a gold, more gold. This is gold and silver. The other one has a silver back, and it's mostly gold. This one is mostly silver and a little bit of gold. Actually, it's got the same amount of gold. I don't know why this one's cheaper. That one's we can do. Uh, that should just stay 200, honestly. 200 on those. This is a Bustamite cab. And we can take 100 bucks on that one. Nice gel Bustamite that's related to Sujolite. It's from the Kalahari manganese field. It's a really nice manganese mineral. It's not rhodochrosite. Uh, this is really random, but this is an Aqua Oro. Really nice spirit quartz point. This is a Big size, good rainbow on the top there. Don't get a lot of fingers that big. That one's 85, 35, 48. <clears throat> uh, this is magnified, but here's a little dioptase cluster. It's a little magnifying box, which is kind of cool. You can see how clear, how, how much clarity this. And this is much darker, brighter, vivid emerald green in person. The camera's never going to pick up dioptase properly. They never do. Even the professionals struggle with it. 1308, 65. We'll do 50 bucks on that. Really nice dioptase. That's a <clears throat> Namibian piece from like 20 years ago. I don't know why this one never sold. This is one of my absolute favorite. I guess maybe I'm supposed to keep it then. Yeah, maybe I should keep it. I'm going to keep that one. It didn't sell forever because I was supposed to keep it. There you go. Sometimes the rocks tell me what to do. Most of the time the rocks tells me what to do. 1308. Alice, I got you on that. Uh, let me put my phone down. Write it down. Hello, hi vibe bear. Glad to have you here. We are running late. All right, what's next? Thank you, Alice. Nice. Thank you, Have I Bear. Check these out. You're not going to see these very often. <clears throat> uh, yeah, we'll post them both. This one's not going to be as long. It might be easier to go back through. Ah, white beads. This is a rare opportunity. I've shown them before, but this is not something you see every day. If you have any kind of beading project and you just need one bead, they're not cheap, but they're pretty amazing and not very easy to get. Uh, yeah. Marisol, we were doing lots of Laramar earlier today. I can give you an overview of that if you want. Uh, these are marked 450 each. We will take... 375 for each of those. Um, <clears throat> here's the, the quick Laramar recap. These were the A grade spheres and some double A cabs. And then we get into some triple A jewelry. <clears throat> Crazy pieces. 
This is just ridiculous. It's absolutely ridiculous, Laramar. The quality is just ridiculous. Good night, Divinemism. Thank you for joining us tonight. Recap, 50, 68. This one is one of my favorites. 250 on that one. Larimar ring, size 8. Lariat. Your phone said Lariat. <clears throat> Let's see. There's an 8.5 here. That's a really nice one. And this is an 8. High volume bear or Aaron Fiola, that's an eight right there. I can't zoom in on it when I got my phone in my hand, which is kind of a pain in the ass. This is an 8.5. So this is the only eight. I did just put a couple, there's some other rings that I'm putting through to the website, but so that's the only eight that I have. That one there, this one's 8.5. And this one is 8.5. So that's what I got for that. Anyways, pendants, more triple A spheres. These are the crazy ones. Um, hello, my my crystal skulls is here. Look at this. This is very beautiful. More phosphosiderite. You sell that other one. This is a graduated necklace, not just a bracelet. It's only a necklace. Very good, amazing thing. Look this. It is all very beautiful. Anyways, that's this. $100. Phosphosiderite. Amazing, crazy, beautiful, awesome, colored, purple. Shmishmash. Amazing. Just awesome. It's my, wife, my wife loves it the most. It's her complete favorite purple there is. Yes, very good. Okay. What else do we do? What about this? You like this? This is Himalayan quartz from the high Himalayas up in the most spiritual mountains in India. And it is Ganesha carving. This is $80, this one, 35 or 78, 62 gram. Like that. Perfectly clear Himalayan quartz. <clears throat> Here's another one. I don't even know what that says. Doesn't matter. 65 that one. All right, there's another one, Himalayan quartz. Ganesh, very clear. High Himalayan mountains quartz, really awesome shit. That one there is $84, super high vibe. Himalayan quartz for the win. Very nice, very nice of quartz. We go quickly through, there's another one. Screenshot if you love it, 85, amazing. This one, 77, a Himalayan quartz Ganesh. Last one, go fast this one. This one for 70. <coughs> All right, switching gears. Here is, what you call it, Shatakaitin quartz. Little crystals there with some blue shit going on in there, it's beautiful. Copper silicates, what do you know? Rusty's favorite genre. All the blue rocks find their way to me. I don't know why. They like me. I like them too. We've got, we got a thing with blue rocks going on here. The one you got from throwing... Who is throwing stones? No, I'm just kidding. Yes, I'm glad you got a good one. Amazing. 
we got so many blue rocks they like coming out of my ears they just keep coming I'm gonna have some more surprises here soon we're gonna get some panty droppers here we go $60 that one that's cheap no discount on that <clears throat> here's a fire agate we'll, we'll discount this one it's from Mexico Normally it was 150, I marked it down to 100, and tonight we will make it to $75, this one. So that is basically half price. Let's see what we can do with this camera. $75. Very nice fire agate from Mexico. There you go. There you go, Mexico. Here's an Australian opal, matrix opal, what they call it, iron opal. Got lots of color, this one. Probably choroid or something. Australian iron opal. And a tag. Tag on this one's 250. That's pretty damn good for opal like that. Look at how many colours it got. This shit just goes up in price. This Australian shit is ridiculous. It's like, what the fuck, man? Every time I turn around, it's like got extra zero on the end. Or maybe it was always like that. And I was just learning it now. It's like, damn it. What the hell's going on with these crazy rocks? Why are they so expensive? I saw a fucking opal. As soon as I got to Spruce Pine this year, there was somebody, he's had an opal. He just thought it was fake opal. It was a black opal with red. And he thought it was fake, so he put it on his shelf forever. And he showed an opal deal at the show, and he, the guy just about shit his pants. He says, that shit hasn't come out since, like, 1915, and it was worth, like, 200,000 fucking dollars. And it was just this little fucking opal about the size of my finger. Like, my thumbnail. It was, like, this big. It wasn't even that big, but it was, like, perfectly black and completely red. He was like, you got to be fucking kidding me. Uh, what's the skew for the Australian opal? Sorry. The skew for the Australian opal is 3526. That's a really good opal, I'm telling you. <clears throat> this is rutilated stars with uh, crapolite in there, but this is this one is from Brazil. This is not from Zambia. I'm pretty sure. Wait, no. I don't know actually. It probably is from Zambia. Who the fuck knows? Sometimes I can't know because they got it goes runs around all over the world. Alice, I gave you the skew for that, 3526. Here is this one. We can do this for 160. This is nice rutilated star with chlorite going up in there. It's like garden courts with the big rutile flowers going on. It's like, hello, I'm rutile flowers going on in my courts. Man, this shit's amazing. It's like, look, it's very good. Uh, there was not a discount on the opal because the opal is very fairly priced for what it is. I believe. It was two fifty. <clears throat> All right, thank you. Thank you, Alice. Okay, Dirk. What is next? Thank you, Alice. Appreciate it. Thanks for confirming. Okay, Doc, what we are showing next? This is why I put this here. So this is very good too for 160. Very, very good rock. Uh, what else? Little Ahawite thingies. Oh, here's a little bag. Little bag of like Ahawite shards. I don't know if anybody wants that for energy or something. This is just a cheap bag for what it is. Little shards, what's it like? One, two, three, four, five. So it's like it's like ten pieces. Ten pieces of Ahawite shards. That's what it is. 
should be normally I think I think I think I put a hundred dollars on it will do seventy five dollars on that seven dollars and fifty cents a piece you can experience Aho Art and give it to your friends for seven fifty yay look there's one couple in there that's got some good blue that's a deal yay all right what next here's another one nice little pendant Come on, get stay in focus. Ahawai and I guess Limonite or something like that. Glue a little piece to your third eye doing meditation. Yes, that's a good idea. This one we could do for 200. <clears throat> Pretty good for that size. What is what is left there is this what is this and that doesn't have a skew here's a good opportunity to get a nice decent sized crystal for a good price it's got a decent amount of blue in there all that face is blue 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 a little bit under there anyways a good size piece that was normally 444 which was pretty good as it is we're going to do this one for 333 if that one calls your fancy tell us a bit about ahoite ahoite is Probably my favorite copper silicate in the whole copper silicate family. It is uh, what's the main difference between Ahoite and all the other copper silicates is that it ha contains potassium. And that's really important. And that's how you can definitely identify it in relationship to Chrysocola and many of the other things. So a lot of the copper silicates like Ahoite, Papagoite, Shatokite, even Helolite, there's probably many other ones. They're all only a few oxygen molecules away from each other. So like this one's got one extra oxygen and this one's got that. Ahoite has a little bit of uh, potassium. So, you know, like the chrysocolas don't have that and shit like that. So it's an, alumi it's a, a, an aluminum silicate. It's got aluminum in it, but the other ones, some of the other ones do too. It's got an, it's an aluminum potassium silicate. <clears throat> And it's pretty fucking rare. It only comes from like two places. You know, maybe a few people say, oh, we tested it this and blah, blah, blah. But it came from Arizona and little bits of roof and nothing in terminated crystals. And then in South Africa, it did some amazing shit. Come on, camera. Come on. Fucking focus already. So it has electrolytes. Yes. It's like eating bananas. <laughs> I actually have a plan. We'll see. I'll tell, I'll tell you a story one day about the potassium. There's lots of funny stories about it. There's actually someone... Yes, never mind. It's not, I can't finish that story, but there's going to be stories for sure that I could tell in the future. Anyways, this one is a cute little crystal for 555, and this we can do for 444. It's what plants crave. Yes, totally. Totally. 444 on that one. That's a good fucking rock. <clears throat> uh, let's do a cheapie. This one is got the little Ahoite phantom thingy going on the side there. It's got, uh, what's all that? Epidote? That's all epidote. That's all dirt. And yeah, that's about it. Just a little bit of Ahoite. That one's got a sticker of $80 on that. But tonight we'll take $50. Fifty dollars for little Ahoite point. You can have energy for Ahoite and you still have a terminated point so you could go pew, 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 pew. Okie okay, doc. Sheenology, claim fifty. Thank you, Sheena. Sheenology. Sheenology, you must be new here. This I don't usually sell at this hour. So great, welcome. 
Go send me a private message on uh, Instagram so I can have easy communication with you tomorrow. I will create a, for all the new people, I will create uh, a listing on my website and you will check out through my website, which is awesome. Makes it super easy. It goes right to my shipping department and I don't have to touch it. <clears throat> all right, T, sorry for the delay. I've got to do all the writing myself because my wife went to sleep. She's got to get up early. All right. Sweet, thank you, Sheneology. Sheneology, Sheneology. I don't know what it's supposed to say, but it doesn't matter. We're going to make fun of it anyways, because that's what we do here. All right, here's another big rock. Big, big crystal with little bit of weight in it, but we give you a big discount, and maybe you will be very excited. You can be very excited for this mineral, because there is little of weight and little bit of uh, calcite balls going on in there. And there's like a white phantom going on, and it's got this black shit that's probably tenorite, which is another black copper mineral. And there's a little, little bit of white coming along in here. Did I tell you enough about it, Bill? Did you get the rundown? This is all hematite right there. And what's cool about this is that the bottom is all grown away. It's self-healed. It broke off the wall. It's got good luster. Good luster. You can see, and you can see, look at this, this is so cool. Ah, white, yes, there's so much to say, the history is really rich, it's really amazing. What a crazy situation I found myself in with this material. It's been quite a journey. Anyways, look, this one, this was marked 388, but uh, tonight we will take, uh, let's make it 288. 288 for big crystal like this, with. It's okay, Ahoyt, but it is a cheap price. Very good crystal. 288. Somebody else out there would have $700 on that rock. Because that's what happens. Shit got so rare. It's like, oh my god, what are we going to do? Alright, look at this one. Look at that one. Yes, there's... There's so many things to say about this mineral and this everything going on there, but I will talk more about it in the future. I need to have my citrine kick in so I can have more money to buy pieces like that. Yay! Thank you, Natalie. So be it. Here's a little little cluster, a little baby with lots of color. Come on, come on, camera, do it, do your thing. What's that? Some little mica going on in there. Anyways, I get all caught up in that. 375 is that one. <clears throat> we can do 300 for this one. It is so cute. Yes. Yes, throwing stones auctions. It's so cute. <laughs> okay, dog. This one. This one is Papago. Actually, is that Ahoite up there, or is it Papagoite? I can't tell. Looks like it has both. It's got the light blue and the dark blue. The light blue, Ahoite is a heart-centered stone, and it like totally opens up all your chakras. And uh, this one is the third eye stone, so you could connect the heart and your head, and they work synergistically together. And when they're in the same rock, that's really good. It's really good to find it together, which is not that common. It looks both 377, we're going to take 333, this one. And is it doubly terminated? It looks like it is. It is, it's doubly terminated, yay. Very good, for 333, this one. <clears throat> Alrighty, what's next? It's getting late. Bill's like, it's morning, what do you mean? What else do you want to see? I don't know, maybe I should do some more scanning and see if you see something you got to have. This is a killer, killer Papagoite cabochon, look at this. Yep, yeah, got the zoom. Come on, camera, quit it. Oh, stupid thing. All right, never mind. Never mind. Sorry, I'm bouncing you around. I'm 
This is going to make a nice piece of jewelry. It's got letters inside. It is 97. If you were born in 1997, then it is for you. This is class of 97. That's a good rock. That one there, 475, will take 380. That's a damn good deal on that. <clears throat> yes, 97. 380, that's a fucking steal actually. This should be a lot more. But the reason is, is that you can't see the colors well. You have to backlight it. If I could see that without backlighting it, honestly, this would be a 800 or a $1,000 rock. It doesn't make it any worse. It's kind of like a surprise, like, look, you can see it. And then it's got other like characters in it. If you look the other way, you could turn it all over. It's got like, what the hell is that? It's like squiggles and cubit and shit. I don't even know. It's weird. It's really cool. Anyways, 380 on that one. <clears throat> okay, duck. <clears throat> what is next? Let's see. Here's this one. This one is fully polished. And it does not stand very good. Yes, no, it stands all right. Stands all right. Native copper going on in there. Little native copper sprays. You see it somewhere in there. See, there's all kinds of minerals, limonite and hematite, and all kinds of shit going on in there. Little ahuite, you know, little phantoming in the bottom. It's all classic Messina stuff. That one we got 333. We're going to take, let's say, 260 on that one. <clears throat> What else? Uh, here's, this is a new one. Here's a new one. It's a cabochon. Got a lot of shit going on in it. I don't even know. I haven't even seen this one up close yet. I literally just got finished it. I don't know what this green is. There's green balls that might be tangiite or something, which is a little bit more rare. Let's take a look, Let's see if it's got any. What I need to do, I've got a new microscope. I need to hook it up. I can show you guys through the microscope too, if I could get it right. Practice a little bit, but these little yellow dots, that's got to be something else. I don't know what, but we could find out, or we could look at it at least, maybe even take a picture, you know. Anyways. That's a pretty cool cab, nice and thick on that side. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna do? <clears throat> There's no Piemontite on that one. Piemontite is the uh, the reddish stuff that look, that grows just like uh, Epidote. Macro lens on the camera could work, but I've got an actual microscope. I don't know if I should go through the microscope or just get the macro lens on my phone, but. It's kind of a pain in the ass too. Oh, but if I get the new upgrade, then I, the Instagram probably won't let me go on with the macro. Anyways, there's this one. This is really cool. Brand new, hot off the press. Uh, we, let's see. Let's do 250 on this one. If you love it, it's for you. Great. It's got lots of minerals in it. Yay, new rock. See, there you go. I knew I found something. I did show you that other one. I said 700 on that. Uh, what is it? Let's see, can you do this one? Emily, you want this one if I go down a little more. Well, I said 777, I could do 700 on that one. I think that's pretty fair. You could put a thousand on it at least. Nice native copper and that, doubly terminated. 700 on that one. Uh, Let's see, what's that other one? Let's do another cheapie. Another little little guy for jewellery. Just a nice little dot there. 
doubly terminated. Got the other shit going on. All the beautiful minerals going on in there. Epidote, hematite, classic stuff. Uh, so that one's 50 bucks. We'll do $40 on that one. Yeah, that one <laughs> Natalie Catley, you need to put your hands in your pockets. <laughs> Anyways, 40 bucks on that one. That's the that's the deal of the day, the cheapest Aha White in the book. All right, what's next? Claim cheapy, she did it again. Yay, shineology, shineology, shineology. It's very good. It's nice to meet you. It is shineology. Four zero nine nine forty dollars. Very good. Awesome shineology. Shineology is what I want to say, but it's not that. It's not spelled that way. <laughs> <coughs> Natalie Catley, how dare you come in here and buy a Molevite? <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't mean for it to be like that. But you know, it's Molevite. Everybody, Molevite, people have a problem with it. I don't understand. Why can pe Why do people have to have all the Molevite? <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not saying anything about you. People just like irresistible. People can't say no to it. It's like, oh, there's more Molevite, yay. Molevite collectors are crazy. They're crazy, they just want them all. I made it with the most utmost love, of course. Oh, here's one, what's that? Oh shit, here's a new one. Don't, it doesn't even have a skew. That's not good. Okay, duck, the, this is new one, Emily and others. Whoever didn't see this one is new. Holy shnikes, what is going on in this? That's fucking Piemontite right there, sprays. Shirley, that, that, that's badass. Crazy good piment, piementite sprays. You've been eating lots of what? Is that ramen? You've been eating ramen? What is that? Or is it chocolate? You've been eating lots of chocolate. This one's crazy. I haven't seen this one through the camera yet where I get to see it really up close. I, I can I can see it with my eyeballs, but the camera's like shit, man. You're getting all up in that. It comes free with rusty fingerprints. What do you mean, this or this? There, there is my fingerprint. I should wipe that off so you cannot uh, steal my DNA. <laughs> Just kidding. Uh, Piemontite is a dull red and it grows like epidote. You can see these are epidote grows in sprays and it's kind of, um, sometimes it's six sided like a tourmaline, but a lot of times it's flat. So you can kind of see that those are flat. And usually this is on, I mean, it's sometimes it's easy to see, sometimes it's not. The calcotrichite is like red and it's, and it's metallic and it'll, uh, so it'll shine light back at you, but this is matte and dull. So that's one way to tell. But there's also, there's calc, yeah, calcotrichite's the really red one. Uh, and then there's also uh, cuprite, like a really red cuprite, I believe. Yes, the phantom, there's multiple layers to the phantom. Do you see the phantom layer inside there? So the ahoite's on the phantom, and then there's like, you see all those red dots in the middle? That's hematite, that's on the phantom face. Look, here's the line. This is also on the phantom face here, almost. I don't know, it's just a crazy piece. I haven't even seen this piece yet. I don't even remember when I got this. It must have happened not too long ago. Yeah, it was like two trips ago from my cutter. I put it in the drawer and forgot about it. I mean, the box. Anyway, so I got to think here, what we're gonna do, the, what am I gonna do about this piece? Um, this one, I think this one needs to be a thousand dollars. Now we'll make it, I can make it, then we'll do it 800. One million dollars, Eight, 800 I could do it. That's cheap. It's not cheap, it's $800. That's a good deal, I think it's a good deal. Fresh off the press. Anyways, there's that one, we'll do 800. What else are we gonna show you? Let's see, we'll just leave that there for a minute. 
Uh, okay, we're going to go crazy. I love these. Everybody who loves these is like, you've got to be kidding me. So this is a uh, pyrite in quartz, light water, clear quartz. Really nice, big, fat, domed oval cabochons. You can see the pyrites going on in there. Amazing shit. This is really high quality. Small, but high quality. Look, look how the dome makes it big. That's, that's the size there, but look at how big it is. It's totally magnified. I think it's bigger there, did you see it? Yeah, pretty cool shit. Quartz is amazing, that's why they used it for military lenses and shit. That one, we got marked at 140. Gonna take 110 on that one. Amazing shit. Yeah, it's very good, 110. Here is another one, this is perfect. Very, very, very nice. That one's marked 100. I'm going to take 75 on that. Beautiful ring piece. Just think about wearing that on your finger. Look at that. Look at how beautiful that is. Silly. 75. That's a good one. Yes, these are totally amazing, crazy ass shit. This is one of my favorite mineral inclusions in quartz of all time because it comes from so, it comes in so many different forms. Like, oh my god, you got to be kidding! This shit blows my mind. I love it. Blows my mind. I love it. This one is a one fifty. We can make it one twenty. Alrighty, what are we going to do next? What is next? <clears throat> Alright, we did some. Alright, so Libyan desert glass. We've got desert glass. Amazing pieces, yes, we had some good ones. Amazing pieces. Okie dokie, what are we gonna do next? Desert glass, you guys want to see some desert glass? Final price on five, three, uh, 110 on that one. High vibe bear, uh, I'll make it 100. 140 was the start. We can do 100 on that one. Blue friends in the top left. That's all Laramar. That's like crazy top grade Laramar. Like you wouldn't believe how top grade this shit is like nuts. So, and then this one's expensive. This one I think is 300. Uh, the opal in the white box. I gotta take this one out. This is a Brazilian opal. So this Brazilian opal, all right, Alice, I got you on that. <clears throat> I'll show you the Brazilian opal in just a second. Let's see, 
Laramar. Oh, see, we already did the Laramar in the first part of the live, like four, like almost five hours ago. <laughs> All right, Desert Glass, we can do that. Here's that. Who was asking? Here's that Brazilian uh, James. Here's the Opal. This is a Brazilian Opal. And I bought this out of a guy's collection in Texas. So I literally went and met this guy at the bank and we sat in their vault for like six hours going through all of his shit. It was kind of ridiculous. The bank was like, we didn't know you were going to take that long. <laughs> they had to like turn customers away and shit because we were completely taking over the vault so we could get into his stuff and just like throwing it all out and whatnot. So Brazilian Opal, it was really cool. I originally had $2,000 on this thing. That was my first price. I can't remember what I paid for it, but I don't, I don't think I'm gonna make money on it at the price that I'm asking now, that's for sure. But I put 900 on it, and I should probably stay in that range because I know I paid a lot for that one. I bet I paid a thousand bucks for it. Yeah, it's a stellar piece, and it's not a small piece. Yeah, see, look, there's the first price. When I was doing shows, and I mean, I think that's what it's worth to the right person. But, whatever. There you go. Opal. From Brazil. Brazil. For 900. Uh, let's see, we could do this one again. Mexican fire opal. This is some crazy good shit too. Come on, man. What are you doing, camera? Why are you not focusing? Two hundred. That one should stay two hundred. It's a really nice piece for that. The one my son made, what What do you mean? My son didn't make it. My son doesn't make things. All right, let's move along. <clears throat> Desert glass, yes, very good. Uh, okay, dog, let's start with this. Uh, my son, he doesn't make Jewelry. I mean, they put they made some earrings every once in a while, like with his mom, but just like beading and shit. He's 13. He pretty much likes to play computer, like most kids. Anyways, nice big, crazy quality Libyan desert glass. Look at this. Look at all the stuff going on here. Amazing, amazing, amazing stones. Big old desert glass here, man. It's some that one there, there's 625. We're gonna mark that down there to 500. We're gonna get you 500 for them good old Mexican desert glasses. <laughs> Your son is 13. Oh no, what's going on? What year were you born? You must be a Gen X also, unless you're old man. <laughs> My daughter's 13. What a wait a minute, when were you born? Okay, dog, look at this. Oh my God, this is so good. This one is uh, so good. It's a big, it feels so good in my hand. Very good price, a very big piece. This is a color. Wow. 77, oh yay. Good for you. 89, yay. Okay, dog, this is crazy. Very good one. This one is marked 911, but we give you a very, very good price. Uh, tonight we do this one for 650. This one, big Libyan desert glass, 650. 650. You want the big one? This one is very good. This one we do. Um, we make this. Uh, this one very good. We make this. Uh, we make it f uh, 480 for you. I don't know if you can buy, but uh, we put it here, 480, this one 650, yes, good deal. Look at this one. All 
All right, this is the biggest chime I've ever seen. Angel chime. Yes, it is angel chime. This is very special. This is Paleolithic tool used by ancient people. Biggest one I've ever seen. It's pretty amazing shit. This one, uh, we put 369 because 369 is very good number, but uh, we will do 288 for this tonight. If you have to have, this is the biggest, best angel chime of all time. There might be bigger ones. I've never seen one, but this, I'm sure it's possible. It's pretty cool. This was used by an ancient person like thousands of years ago in the desert. 288, my philosopher. Oh my God, it's meant to be. No, just kidding, man. 288. Okay, Doc, what's next? Oh, well, let's do this one here. There's little piece, 32. We make 25. This cheap piece, 25, but amazing. Look, not cheap. It's beautiful. Energy, very good, very clear. $25. Bill, you need to buy. <laughs> Just kidding, man. Oh, but if you need small pieces like this, I can definitely wholesale you a kilo if you want. They're not actually like that. It's more like this. Natalie, Catalie, I got you. See, look, you did it again. All right, 25, Natalie, Catalie. He's like, damn it, Rusty. I'm just sitting here watching. All right, there's a little knob. We'll do 23, this one. It's a beautiful little thing. 23, that one. How much is a kilo? Let me show you what I can offer for a kilo. Divinism, divinism, I see you. So this is what the kilo material looks like. It's this size and it's this quality. It's, you know, a decent mix. It's got, there's a flake in there. That's one of those Paleolithic tools. That's pretty cool. So it's just a general mix like that of the small sizes. And let's see. So divinism, ism, 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 ism. I see you on that. 423. Uh, let me think here. What's a kilo got to be? I think 2000 for a kilo on this material, the small stuff. I don't really have anything bigger than this right now, but I very well might in the near future. Anyways. <clears throat> Small shit. Oi! Anyways, there, here. This is uh, like a greenish color because it has got the, the black stuff inside. I tell it many times, these are platinum minerals. Osmium and iridium, that gives it a little bit of a signature that shows it's most likely from outer space and an impact or something like that. Forty-six, let's see, let's do we're gonna do thirty-eight for that one. Thirty-eight for that one. <clears throat> Here's another small one. Nice quality, nice clarity, 33, we take 27, 48.74 for 27. Oh, shnikes, what happened here? I got to go back and look, I forgot to write it down. So, that's when we got this one, 25. Give me a second. Okay, look, what else can I show you? 
okay, doctor. Okay, I'm back. This one is very good. This one, 27. Very nice piece. Uh, this one also 27. Look at how clear this one is. That's super. $27, this one. Oh, stop it. Don't hit your phone. This one, uh, what is it? Uh, osmium and iridium. Look, it's got, this is the, the power up button for the universe. You, psh, psh, psh. Yeah, it's awesome. You can play Space Invaders right from that rock right there. Want to chew on them? Yes, this is this one's like a tooth, actually. You know, it's like a big molar or something. No, they're not polished. They were polished by sand over time, and they've got what they call regmaglyphs, which is infrastructure of what it looks like when it goes through the atmosphere. Like all this stuff right here. These are this is like being peeled back. Supposedly, when it's going through the atmosphere, there's like creates these little indentions and stuff like that. Uh, that's why I thought it was from an impact and then it's got this it's got all this osmium and iridium in it Which are platinum minerals, which doesn't really make sense if it didn't come from Some kind of impact so I don't know that's the theory anyways Not polished but polished by sand for thousands of years or however long these are millions of years They're in the been in the desert and whatnot and they come to the surface Anyways, this one here 72 we're gonna take $60 on that one $60 very good 4106 with osmium and iridium and it comes with a story yay here's the smallest chime that i've ever had angel chime means it it sings like a little moldavite sings look it's the smallest chime i've ever had 30 dollars we will take uh, 24 dollars on this 24 dollars for cute cute little chime this is so cute Alrighty, what's next? Let's try this one. We're gonna make this one for a really good deal. It's a nice big piece. It's already marked pretty good, 78. We're gonna do that one for 55. 55, 41, 31. That's a really good piece. 55 it's a lot of weight <clears throat> here's this one catopia 4131 very good and let's see this one well, let's do 32 on that one. That one's pretty good. For 32, that's a lot of weight too. It's got the little dot, little black stuff in there too. $32 this one. Thank you, Catopia, you got it. Divinism, I see you there for 32. That's a really good deal on that one. Lots of weight on it. This little one. This one's got the got the dark material in it, the platinum minerals. Cute little knobby. This one would do eighteen dollars. Eighteen dollars for this. Down from twenty-five there. They are very gentle. 
This one's got a couple nicks on it. Uh, this one is the biggest chime that I've ever had or seen. Anyways, 369, I said I would take um, 280, I think it was. 48.69 for divine dynamism. Yeah, 280. That's this is the nicest angel chime of this material that I've ever seen, and the biggest one that I've ever had. Pretty awesome. 280 on that one. Uh, 288 is. What is 288? Oh, 288 was what it was. Yeah, 280. Gotcha. Thank you. <clears throat> Thank you, Natalie. 288. Everybody was like, yes, that's a very special number. So, and then I forgot. <laughs> of course. 48, 69. We got 18. This is divine. MSM. You're divine. Divine mainstream media. That's what I'm going to call you from now on. <laughs> Just kidding. Okay. Proud of you for being up this late. So I haven't had a beer all night. Yes, well, I know. Being this late, I guess I just got energy. How many wiener jokes did I miss out on? Uh, there was a few. No, there was a few. Not, they weren't, we didn't go epically crazy tonight, but there was a few. There always is a few. All right, so look, let's see. This one's got a couple little, uh, couple chips on it. So we are going to discount it. It's very clear, this one. Well, maybe this one should be for carving. Maybe that's better than discounting it. No, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna carve it. See that? That's good. It's creative. Unless you got, unless somebody was like, "Fucking, I love that page rust. That was the one." I'm gonna take that one out and carve it. Maybe one. I think what? Do 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 do. Okay. Look, this has got all the little bubbles. Look, there's eyeballs like this. It's like a face. Or it is like the psh, 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 psh. carve what into it? Probably I don't know something Egyptian or like some kind of mushroom theme or something. I did mushroom themes with the moldavites that we just did, so those are pretty cool. I'm excited about those. Those will be here next week. Anyways, this is a pretty cool piece. Like it's got these little caverns going on in there. Already cheap. $50. We'll take $40 on this one. This one has got the shit in it. Oh, does it? I don't know. It looks like it does. Oh, there it is. Got some in there. $40 this. $40. Oh my god. Oh my god. This one also. Really nice. It's got osmium and iridium. Look at that. Platinum minerals. It's got this thingy going on in here. It's nice and clear on top and all that side and everything and whatnot. And do that. It's $54. We're going to make that one $40. Tabato's got this one for $40. $40, eh? Oh, my God. Look Okay, there we are. I have to find your bin. Have a toast. There we go. Okay, look. Next, we are we are doing good here. We weren't here to bring up the top of, of, of orifices for any reason. No reason. Oh, okay. Yes, I don't know. I haven't made it to see your hair yet. <laughs> okay, let's see. Uh, here's a chime. A little chime, little chime. Here, look, you go see it. Look. So that's a nice chime, that one. $44. We will take $33. Look, there's your dong. It's a it's a LDG dong. I don't know, never mind. We're not even gonna stock that. $33. It's too late for that. Rusty, it's too late, you're broken. Look at the there's here is bigger one. This also very good price. Yes, very good price. It's got the, the black stuff in there for the platinum minerals and this 
this is very nice this has a good shape good shape and good color yes now we're not going to orifices at 2 30 in the morning don't forget about me it's um, it's already tomorrow we'll do this one for 80 that's a really good deal this one's a dragon head already or like an alligator head look you see that it's like chop pretty awesome 80 bucks on that one that's actually really good this is a lot of weight as a pair with a hole for making pendants would be cool for the chimes by the pair oh uh, if I, you're saying drill a hole in them and wear them together so they can chime i think that's dangerous to be honest i wouldn't drill a hole in them because you'd probably break one to be honest I understand the sentiment, but I don't think that's a good idea, personally. Maybe cap it, that might be safer. I wouldn't drill it though. Priming it for some fun dream topics. No, quit it, stop that. <laughs> Get out of my head. <laughs> oh, Instagram, the stupid computer, you're all in my head. Ah, look, there's no one here, Rusty, what are you talking about? There's just some words on a screen. You're just talking to yourself like a crazy man. But you're funny. At least you enjoy yourself. Ha ha. Yay. It's great. Oh, you guys are still here. Shit. <laughs> what are we going to do? Here, look. This is a nice one. Uh, whatever that is. I don't know. It's a shape. Look, there's like a... Ooh, it's like a turtle or a dinosaur or something. Like a stegosaurus or some fucking prehistoric, something like that. So, 44. Man, that's already good. We're going to do uh, 38 on this one. That's a good one. 38. 8, 8. Yes, very good. Is this today already or tomorrow? I don't know. It is it seven or eight now? Oh, this one is fucking ridiculous. This one is like ridiculous. Like so crazy alive, I can't even tell you. It's just got that aliveness to it. You know what I mean? Hey, you. You know what I mean? Come on, you need to take me home. Like uh, on the country road, you take me home. Uh, to the place I belong. <laughs> I don't care what state, but you know what it is your. <laughs> okay, dog, this one here is very good. It is $80. We make this one $65 because it is so good piece. It's this amazing piece. It's amazing piece. Holy shit. This is my favorite piece in the box. 65 that one. Alrighty, what's next? You want to see more of these? You want to see something else? I can't do this all night, by the way. Yes, it's yellow Moldavite. It's flying off the shelf. Everybody buy it. It's the yellowiest Moldavite you've ever seen. What was 65? Uh, this one, yes, that's a good piece, Bill. Ah! There it goes, my phone. Okay, look, my crystal skulls. I have a couple of pretty good crystal skulls, but they don't have 600 of them. Your order has been initiated. 55, now it is cheap. What do you mean? No, now it is cheap. Okay. Uh, this one, this one, this one, this one. What is this? Okay, this one here. Another one that is less price. For the less price deal. Uh, this one we can do 35. This is a nice uh, yellow moldavite for 35. Do I have scapolite? Um, I have scapolite on my Etsy shop, I think, just like stock photo, like handfuls of it and stuff. I don't know, but I don't have any like. No, I do have some actually really nice, expensive gem purple scapolites that are elongated from Afghanistan, but they're really small and they're like hundreds of dollars each. But they're fucking good. They're like the best small ones that ever came. I have to find them though. I think I found, oh, I did find them recently. I could show you at some point. If that sounds amazing. 
Like that is amazing. Rest, you need to show this. Okay, look, this one, uh, this, no, this one is also good for that. Yeah, let's do this one. Here's another charm. We can sing Kumbaya together. Look, the way the angel time, it is very good for your spiritual practice here. We are going to, uh, we are going to indoctrinate you into our uh, cult here, right? The Kumbaya, my lord. Okay, oh, Rusty, chill out, man. It's fucking three o'clock in the morning. Almost. Here, look, you can hear it singing. Oh, shit. It's not even on the camera, dude. What are you doing? That's what happens when it's three o'clock in the morning. Okay, look. Kumbaya. Okay, God, Rusty. Shut up. The joke's fucking over like six months ago already. Chime on. Go ready here. But that one's uh, $50. We will take $40 on this. You don't have Iolite. Iolite is much easier. I've got palm stones and spheres and maybe hearts of Iolite. When are you going to give us a peek into the safe? Uh, I can do it now. There is some pieces. You didn't see the piece earlier, though. The one that is fucking crazy. That is, oh my god! I show the crazy Ahoy. It's one I posted on Instagram before, but oh my god, it's fucking crazy. Uh, let me put this away here. Put away this. Uh, You'll play chime in the background. Okay, you guys want to be done with that. Bill wants to see some collection pieces. We could do that. We could see a few. I mean, I don't care, whatever. But, you know, buy that piece right there. That'd be really nice. While I'm playing. Or while I'm showing you cool shit. You'll just buy people. We'll go crazy for it. Call it yellow mold of white, man. What did I say? 600? 600, that's pretty fucking cheap. 600 man 555 look do it 555 anyways there think about that and i'll go get some collection pieces maybe post them buy more personal attack oh whatever i don't know anything about the memes that get posted on my page i barely even watch them i don't make any of those but they're awesome i love it because shirley's the best she makes some crazy shit she made you she puts you on the spot all right hold on give me a minute <clears throat> i need a chance to find some cool shit I got the draw for the. Uh, what am I going to show you? a handful of things that's probably enough right yeah i'm back oh you're talking about for the auctions man the fucking auctions we got this there was we had issues with the auctions Bring out the Achoet again. Yes, Bill might want to see that too. Let's see. Let me get this out of the way. I've got like five or six or eight rocks or something here that will be fun time. We'll have some fun time. Let me go get this other rock again. Hold on. We'll show this one again. This one is definitely collection worthy. This is a pretty special rock. I don't really have to say anything about this rock, but I did before. This was totally encrusted with like a quarter inch of shit. You couldn't see any blue whatsoever except for this little dot right there. 
And no regrets. Yes, no regrets. I don't really even need to say anything about this. These are Ahawai angel wings. Look, it's got a little being in there. When, the more I look at it, the more it makes me want to keep it. That usually, that's what happens with this shit. When I got, when they get this good, it's just like it's so. I don't want to let it go. I'm showing you my collection. I said this might be for sale, but it's expensive. I don't know. Now I'm torn. I can't keep them all. Anyway, so there's that one. It's all complete on this on the other side. All of that's complete. This is all specular hematite grown on the bottom, so it's all doubly terminated. Never let it go, ever. Okay, let's put that away for now. Now that you've seen that, I, sh I probably shouldn't have shown you that first, but they had already seen it. How long have I had it? Shit, that's the kind of piece that I would have had in my safe from when I had a crate. I, I made an Ahoy deal in 2000 eight for like half a ton of material i bought like 70 percent of one of the first giant pockets that came out and pieces like that were in there and there was lots of them and lots of big pieces but this one is from the same time period but it was completely encrusted and i couldn't see any of the blue uh and i got it like a couple months ago and i just had it polished like a couple weeks ago maybe a month ago yeah no this is the king this is the queen of copper silica it's like chrysocolla gem silica is pretty damn special here let me put this down there's a gem silica I want to show you too uh, no Todd wasn't involved in that that was just me so I bought some a little bit after me though. Uh, anyway, so there's that. This is a recent piece of gem silica that I just picked up. This came out of a pretty awesome stone. So this is a really nice gem silica. It's got all this malachite running up on the bottom and on the side. It's got some nice jersey going on. Little botryoidal areas here. So that's not the best one I have, but that's, you know, it's getting up there where it's pretty good for a jersey piece. Like it's hard to beat this color. You know, Ahoy, it's a different shade. So if, when people claim Chrysocolla, like Chrysocolla is not only this shade, but like Ahoy doesn't really get this color. You know, like it just doesn't, it is a different level of saturation. And I mean, you know, but look at this, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> anyway, so the next blue rock <laughs> here, compare it to this. Check this out. This is one of my demultiorites that I kept. This is a fucking good rock. <laughs> a beautiful, beautiful thing. It's got a bowl right in the top, just hanging out right in the top there. Like you got to be kidding me. That's a good rock. Look at the dimensions of this. Yes, this is one of one of I have don't have a lot of these, but I've got some really fucking good ones. Yes, it's show and tell time. Hey, Chrysocolla is still fine. Don't get me wrong, man. I'm addicted to Chrysocolla too. I'm an I'm a copper silicate junkie, man. I can't fucking help it. Everything that's this color that's got copper in it, it fucks my brain. Completely turns me upside down and it flocks to me and it says, you, be the conduit for me. You're supposed to sell me. You're supposed to get me to the people. And this has been happening to me for 20 years with this, this particular chemistry. I don't know why. It's not the only one. I have a good relationship with manganese too, but fucking copper silicates are just like, I love them so much. It blows my fucking mind. I can't understand it. It's like a totally like different dimensional understanding and I can understand it. I don't even have to think about it. So I don't mean I don't understand it. I just, it doesn't make sense, but it doesn't need to. <laughs> it's cool. Anyways, this is one of my demultiorites. It's a fucking good rock. Beautiful piece. Uh, let's see. This is my, one of my pyrites. 
This is... Pretty damn good. So this, I just love these half dodecahedrons and then the backs are flat with these little knobs. Like it doesn't make sense why it does that shit, but it's so cool. Anyway, so that's one of my, one of many of these that I have. That's a fun rock. This rock, oh my God, this is a fucking rock. So strawberry quartz from Mexico is something else that has come across. I've I've had quite a few trapeches like this, and this is the biggest one that I've ever had a chance to buy. And this is definitely one of the most expensive rocks that I've bought in polished form, other than some ahoites that are just like something that I can't say no to. I've upgraded and upgraded and upgraded several times to get to this size. This is a trapeche strawberry quartz. It's not a complete ball, but this is a monster in size. Like this is way, way freaking huge. Uh, but this was expensive. I mean, I paid a shit. I, I honestly, I paid so much for it. It was just like, I can't not have this because the only thing like it that I've seen that might become for, available for sale is actually a complete ball all the way around. And it's like $15,000 or something. I don't think that's, this is worth that, but it's worth half that, you know, something like that. It's a crazy rock. Okay, what next? Let's see. Let's do this. You guys remember this material. This is one of the pieces that I kept. I only kept two of these. Uh, this is, it's just a commercial rock that's whatever, but I fucking love these things. Uh, I've sold a few of these in some of the half price shows. This is uh, fossilized palm wood from Indonesia with these eyeballs. Or it looks like cell mitochondria. UFO, whatever the hell it is. Like, as soon as I saw it, I was like, oh yeah, go get me a shitload of that rough and cut it because I love it. I made tiles, which I'm never gonna sell because I'm probably gonna put them in my bathroom <laughs> someday. <laughs> but super cool, just, you know, kind of whatever. It's just a, it's just a rock, but it's really fucking good. Little alien vaginas, yeah, this one is elongated, so it's kind of like that. A lot of the other ones are really round, but when you, I love how they get in these, like, when you get curves, you can get these angles and, you know, like, there's all these, there's all kinds of little alien looking faces on them and it's just like a whole universe in there. So that's super fun. Uh, let's see, I've shown all of that. Remember the Super 7 stuff that I showed? This is the one my, this is the one that I kept for myself. This stuff went crazy well with the yellow squigalite. Yellow squigalite. That's like one of my first jokes. Yay. It's a crazy fucking Super 7 rock. It's got the amethyst. It's got red needles. It's got yellow needles. It's got Sceptering, it's got black. It's just this is a fucking killer. Anyways, so that's one of those I kept. This is a crazy natural, not polished crystal from Zambia, which is super freaking cool. That I got a couple years ago. This is a scepter going into an amethyst layer and then into a reverse scepter. It's just a weird quartz habit for it to do that. It's a neat looking rock. Um, I have stuff on display in the house, but most of it's in the safe. Uh, we don't have a great, we, we're, we don't have enough space really. Now people think it's a real mineral. What mineral? What are you talking about? Purple mushroom. Yeah, this is pretty cool. Uh, let's see, what else? Uh, copper silicates. This one's a different form of copper silicate, but nonetheless, this is like one of the craziest colors it's out there I do collect cut stones too if, especially if it's in this if it's in the scholar spectrum uh, 
this is a pretty fucking ridiculous rock and this is actually Peruvian opal not gem silica but sure looks like gem silica that's a pretty nice rock so copper is uh, yeah I don't know I have a thing with this color it it has a thing with me uh, it's been like this for a while now I'm j I just roll with it help other people to get good stuff too and along the way because I can you know I got to figure out how to be able to keep stuff too but had a lot of good crystal cola gem silica I go through my hands really good ones recently so I'm super grateful for that uh, the last thing I have to show you that I grabbed from the stash, well, this is we're gonna have to make this the end, I think, and then we'll maybe I'll show some more shit. But uh, this is a pendant of the cat's eye cinnabar that I told you about, and this is probably one of the best cut pieces in existence of this material. Pretty stupid, amazing shit. What a weird thing. Anyways, something you don't see every day. So there you have it. Show and tell is over. I hope you enjoy. Let me get back into this drawer over here with this stuff and I will get back to you. What else to show you? Maybe I have to call it quits. It's late tonight. But uh, there is uh, some, but what else is there? There is some jewelry. Uh, there's some boxes, some elephants. Okay, people, give me a direction or it's time for me to go. What do you think? She's sleeping. Natalie's gone. Awesome. Yay. Thank you, everyone. Sweet. That was perfect. That was a nice little, nice little show and tell. Yeah, you know, I'll do it more often because it's the best way to learn because all the best shit is, you know, not always, but all, most of the best stuff that's already out of the ground is in someone else's hands and you don't get to see a lot of stuff, you know. The deeper you get into the industry, the more you start to see and understand the stuff that doesn't necessarily get shown in public very much. I got to hold an emerald from North Carolina like this big yesterday. And it was like these two crystals like this. And it was just like, you got to be fucking kidding me. That was the hi highlight of spruce pine was getting to physically hold this emerald that was like this big from North Carolina. And it was like this big around. It was just ridiculous. Fun stuff. It's good to, good to be connected to a lot of people that are doing the stuff in the industry because I've been doing it for so long. So thank you guys. What else do you want to see? Inspire me if you want to see more rocks. Throw something out there I might be able to find, or something that's close by, or I can play some music and call it a night, which is kind of what I'm leaning towards. <laughs> Let's 
we got next? We've got some hand panning going on. Did you show the blue green elephants? No, I did not show the elephants. We're gonna do some music. What's the gold stuff off to the right? We can take a little time here, we got time. This is Libyan Desert Glass. We gave some really good discounts on some on those big pieces. And everything got a decent discount. Little angel chimes, got a little singing going on with it. Uh, LDG, this is some really, really amazing, crazy singing crystals. Really nice big smokies that sing. You can do that one for, let's make this 180. Nice big crystal here, 180. Uh, this one's marked. Mark 360, but fuck it, let's do 260, 260 on that one, fuck it. This one, it's Mark 396, if you love it. These are all singing, awesome singing crystals. This one's doubly terminated. Both of those sing a lot. 396, we'll do 300 on that one. That's a killer fucking rock. This one. Oh man, look at this, big huge smoky, 555, we'll take 400 on that, that's a really good rock, anyways that was a good one there, um, did a bunch of really nice cut stones tonight, there's a couple opals, and some tourmaline slices, and some other stuff there, and then we did lots of Laramar. All that Laramar. We had a really good time doing garden quartz, moldavite, and that's the sh the skinny on that. So blue green elephants, Michelle. If you want to see those, I can do a few of those. Let me get this out the way. Out the way. We got pendants. Like I said. Let's see. Blue green. There's one. This is the only green elephant. This is verdite, which is like some kind of African. It's almost like a soapstone, but it's a little harder. And it's all green. Uh, these are old, old carvings from like the 1980s or 1990s or something. Anyways, that one is 77. And these are, you know, pretty. Pretty good size. 77 on that one. Um, here's a nice quality blue lapis. All the blue is lapis. Um, these were in the show circuit. People were doing gem shows in the 90s was the last time they did them. This was their price in the 90s. It was $195 in the 90s when stuff was cheap. So this one, 70 bucks. For that elephant, uh, got a couple of bigger ones. This one here, is that, I think that's a that's supposed to say a hundred, hundred bucks on that one. Yeah, so we got uh, there's a few other elephants if you want to see more here's a nice lapis box the price they had on it in the 90s was $390 I put 150 on it Alice I see you um, this is a lot of craftsmanship there's a lot of pieces so and it's, it's nice and sturdy and it's firm and whatever so box is 150 Alice I got you on the green elephant
All right. Uh, there is one other box made out of another material. There's actually two lapis boxes, and then there's this. I'm not 100% sure what this is, to be honest. Green dot stuff. I don't know what it is. I don't. It's not emerald. At least I hope it's not, because <laughs> I didn't price it that way. It had a. They had an old price on it. It didn't seem expensive back then. So I, I'm not 100% sure what it is. To be honest, I, I, I'm not really familiar with this rough, but it's African. I would imagine. Well, maybe not. It could be done in China or Hong Kong in the 80s. It's good craftsmanship. Anyways, that one's 125 tree agate yeah maybe I don't know it's kind of it's kind of like a venture and it's got all these little speckly sparkly things in it anyways there's one more there's five more elephants in one more box I'm not going to show them but I'll do this and if for some reason you wanted to see one of those and great otherwise that is done um, I don't think it's, well, it could be fuchsite. Could, could be fuchsite. All right. This is definitely the latest I've ever gone on a live show. And so I'm done, but I'm going to play some music, play some music for you. How large is the box opening? Um, like you want an actual measurement or can I just like, It's like two and a half inches, maybe. Tarot, no, this is way. This is really small compared to a deck of cards. It's pretty. It's narrow. Much smaller than a card. Anyways, if you got any more questions or something you want to talk about by private message, let me know. in my online shops um, I mean eventually but it's better to just direct message me because when I put them on the site I have to charge more especially if they go to Etsy because Etsy takes a giant fucking chunk so I'd rather just sell it directly to you if you want it let me know they might get processed through but you know you can always just contact me and whatever but once I have extra work into them to get them on there I need to charge more and there's a big process that it goes through Anyways, thank you guys for being here.
much too many, don't worry. I have a plan. Hopefully it works out well. Just pray for my plan to work.